I didn't find back the mosquito's body, but maybe I got it. So, it's pretty dirty, I'm sorry. Ah, life sometimes. Especially with mosquitoes. D for gradients. Okay, make a gradient there. With the shape of the part of the brain there. Um, let's place it a bit above. Like that, it's okay. Uh, let's do some uh, some funny stuff there with duplication and duplicate a few parts of the brain like something who looks uh, infinite Yeah, it looks it looks weird and crazy. That's good. No, let's create another rectangle, uh, elliptical shape. Uh, not that kind. Okay, no elliptical tool. No elliptical shape there. But here I want to fill you with the gradient. Yeah. Okay, maybe now you are a little bit too thin with the gradient. You have more impact in uh, in white. So make you a bit bigger there and create several time of curation of your own self. Here, here. Here and here. Okay, too straight there. Here. How does it look like? Ah. Hey, looks good for now miss a little bit of color there I think let's see if we can remediate it by applying some shapes and I think it's totally possible a rectangle tool let's appear uh, a rectangle there yeah, you are too high. Should go there, yeah. Uh, like before, I want to hide it behind the part of the brain. So I get a um, bit the uh, transparency into the shape. I rasterize the layer, create mask layer, and Select the pen tool. Like this, make a good selection of that part of the brain and I paint you in black for remove the part I want up get the transparency at 100% create a new layer for create the shadow I see B Oh, 
that's uh, not the soft uh, round maybe 600 should oh, 500 would be fine no there and I pan the shadow and then it looks fine <laughs> now now it's um, not so possible to touch the this area in the center because the text is a little bit too small Um, maybe I should, no, okay, I got it, and create another geometric shape behind the brain and the other elements, and see how it looks like here okay, okay. I think you should go there yeah you should be there here I want to put you on the bag uh, just above the background yeah command T to transform okay okay the shape is too black on the top I want we can see something so I select a very dark gray. Yeah, okay, it don't doesn't change that much, but it changed a little bit, so it's fine. Okay, maybe I want bigger size here. Okay, not too much. You should stop there, yeah. Here, do a little bit bigger. No, no, should go inside again. Yeah, duplicate you there. Okay. Yeah. Put you inside too. Mm hmm. Interesting. Let's create a circle. An ellipse. But that time you should go up on the layers. Arborescence. I mean, totally up. Go, go. Too much calcul. I cannot go fast. Okay, but don't go fast, but do it well, please. Ah. Here it is. Okay, that's fine there. Ah, I 
move you down. It's not what I want. It's the ellipse there. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Ah, not the ellipse. I want rectangles. I want to create thin uh, white uh, lines. So I get rid of the fill color. And I go on the stroke. Please move. Okay, fine. I nine pixel is too it's too high. Let's try three pixel. Cancel. Yeah, looks fine. Looks fine. Let's add some rectangles here and here. Okay, let's continue that process there. Let's take the P of process inside. Okay, not this one. Enough for that little lines. Oh. No, I want a little rectangle, um, square fill of white colors there. Yeah. Maybe you are a little bit too strong. So I make you a bit smaller. Don't. Let's duplicate some of these rectangles there. And a little one on the bottom. See how it looks like. It looks uh, relatively fine. Are we the 25 August? Uh, yes, we are. Uh, I thank the people who hit the thumb up button on YouTube very, very much. Thank you, guys. It's pretty awesome. It's really, it really encouraged me to continue and uh, it makes me feel uh, more confident. There are not a lot of people who are watching them, but uh, I hope you can get some inspiration. Uh, I thank you very, very, very much for uh, coming there. 
and check uh, what I am doing. It's uh, it's really nice, really nice. Uh, there are around uh, more than 200 people who who subscribe to the channel. That's pretty good number. Uh, it's always growing uh, slowly, but uh, yeah, it's uh, really, really well appreciated. I thank you very, very much. I thank you very much for that. It's uh, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, it's it really encouraged me to continue. I really, uh, I really enjoy that. That really, uh, that really helped me to give my uh, my best or more time on that uh, daily design challenge. Um, yeah, sometimes I need it. Now there are people uh, behind me uh, supporting by watching or commenting the poster is uh, is helpful. It's really helpful. So don't hesitate to let a comment, a thumb up, um, send me a message if you have something to ask or if you want to collaborate or uh, or whatever you you have to say just send a message feel free to do that uh, usually I answer relatively fast because you know I'm working behind the computer so the temptation to take a look at my mail is uh, is tempting so I do it often and uh, yeah thank you and I place just some elements there. That's too much. That's not good. So I see you tomorrow for the poster 604. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Take care. Keep healthy. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hi, everybody. Today is the poster number 603 and we are August 25 let's type it there August 25 2020 I really have to change the template layout because it start to bother me to do it every day. Okay. Looking for type. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Wow. Already searching. Something for nothing. Okay. Okay. Take your time, Photoshop. I am not in a hurry. Oh my God. No, really, it's not possible. There is something wrong somewhere. Yeah, let write T there if you want. Hey. No, 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 no. Ear. Ear. It's pretty simple. Oh. Really takes so long. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Uh, if you start like that, it's 5.30 in the morning. It's not possible. Oof. Let's be quiet.
OK, I double click, double check. No, you don't take the move tool. Uh, what's the matter with you? Here. Why you check the move tool? <clears throat> Un understandable. No, no, please, 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 please. Do it. Uh, it should be quick. La. It should be very, very easy and quick. Uh, easy and fast to do that. Oh, for sure. What are you looking for? It's not difficult, really. Just select the text. Yeah, but there are problems with the text tool there. Or what? No, I mean, you can't search for that. It's too easy. Yes, horizontal, horizontal type text tool. And here you come. Oh my God. Really Photoshop, come on. Hey, easy, easy. Ooh, five minutes for the title. The poster will be long today. I already imported the top view of the brain. So it is there. I will enlarge it a little bit. 120. If not, you will see ugly pixels if you if you extend it too much 120 percent come on one two zero done hey Okay, it's an addition of problem on the computer. There is the recording app open, Photoshop in a large format, some down downloads in the background. And here we are, waiting. Oh, please. So yesterday I forgot to push the right uh, button when I was recording the screen about the audio setting and during a long moment I was talking uh, without uh, someone can hear and that's a problem, that's a real problem. So today I carefully selected the, the right option to record my voice and allow you to hear me. I don't want the feel, I want a stroke. I Oh. Finally, no, the color wheel won't appear on everything I click, right? Because it won't be possible like that. 
Yeah, yeah, it will appear for everything. For sure. Why not, huh? Why not? I said the strong the field should not be there. Yeah. Wow. Thirty nine pixel, how do you look like the scene? I want bigger fifty nine. Yeah. Looks acceptable. I go down with that. Here. So like yesterday, I will hide part inside, outside, in between of the brain. So I create a mask layer by clicking this little rectangle with a zero ellipse in the center. I uh, but transparency here and I'm going to select the pen tool by hitting P touch on the keyboard verify that you are on a pass if no it won't work well and and You zoom a little bit into your picture to, to be more precise with the pen tool. And you start to click. Oh. You verify too that you are on the on the mask layer there. If not, it won't work well. P. And here we are. No, that's not what you are supposed to do, Photoshop. Totally not. Uh, I rasterize you. And here we are. Oh my god, this morning is uh, everything is going wrong or what? No, it's a good day. I'll make everything I want. Because it's a good day. No. Singing again. I get rid of this little part here. Ah. Impossible. continue to create some geometric shapes there 
and uh, the next one will be uh, an or vertical vertical shape and uh, it will come let's say somewhere here here get rid of the fear I want a seeker stroke like 69 79 maybe 79 looks uh, fine but not big enough to create a contrast with the other shape 99 maybe it's better yeah looks okay maybe I should go a bit up with that part oh here select the two anchor point and push them down and like before just like before i do the same process i set the opacity on around 22 there i uh, create a mask layer over the shape I select the mask layer of course I have a pass and let's see what they do yeah why why did they create me a shape there it's very weird ah okay 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 It's not what I want. So I rasterize the layer because I know that I want this shape like this. zoom to see what I am doing I be I get sure that I use the pass and that I am on the mask layer if you know it won't it won't work oh, what's that no no photoshop it's simple give me this uncle point here and i want to let him appear around there so let's do it I think it looks fine like that selection okay I 
do the same with the other side of the rectangle so I continue to use the pen tool could I let it appear this time and I think here will be okay Just a mistake there. Let's uh, zoom one more time. how it looks like with uh, full opacity yeah looks uh, looks okay just like the shadow before create a new layer over select the brush tool set with black and type and pu uh, push sometimes to create the shadow where the shape appear and maintain push the out keyboard touch go there between the two layer and click like that it only appear on the shape and not on the brain next step create some effect Okay, save the file. One percent saving. Whew, should not be in a hurry, huh? Ah, it looked like a cross. Hmm. That's not so good. 42, 43, 69, oh, 80, 90, 100% saving, saving complete. I made the job. You can continue to work. Okay, thank you for the shop. Um, Edips, Mar Ep elliptical marquee tool okay 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 I am over the brain and I select a relative uh, lighting part of the brain there command C command V copy and paste the shape the elliptical marquee tool I select just now come there Where are you? There. And maybe, maybe I should create something strange. Okay. And create the shape, gradient shape over. 
R and see what happens with the blending mode. Linear burn not okay, lighten, screen, color dodge. Ah, color dodge. Looks good, but too dark. Maybe should have a contrast there. Hmm, exclusion. Looks pretty well. Ooh, U, saturation, divide. It was divide, yeah, oh. No. It's like the gold brain I used uh, before. I think linear dodge is pretty fine, huh? Col color dodge looks not fine too. But linear dodge, let's play with that and see. If I uh, add a little transparency, maybe it's good too. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fine there. So let's select this shape together. Maybe I can mer merge them and see what happens. Yeah, that looks good. I make there. Feel the opacity. Okay, maybe it should go there. And let's hide a part of this elliptical shape by going there, zoom, select the pen tool, and make natural the shape. I am drawing with the pen tool. Come there. Looks pretty fine. Selection. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Ah, what am I doing? Uh, introvert. Okay. Okay, a little bit there, uh, but I think it's fine. Um, create a new layer. Uh, first, see what it looks like with the 100% transparency. And yeah, it looks okay. Now I will draw the the shadow. see the difference now it uh, only apply on the on the elliptical to uh, shape is to write the title mm. yeah the title but before the title I will duplicate this shape 
Apply delete delete. Make it bigger. Don't worry for the pixel because I will pixelate and use mosaic. Oh, I like this those pixel. Yeah, you can come there. You're fine. Let's do the same with a part of the brain. With a rectangular shape. Oh, I should go on the brain eh? for sure. Command C, Command V. And filter mosaic. Thing. Let's write the title. Come here. Mental process number two. I'll change the font for a futuristic style. black one leading a bit more paragraph <coughs> centered and the tracking <coughs> much much higher okay leading should be up to mental process number two much higher extend a little bit Yeah, and I want you centered on the canvas, so you are there. Ah, yeah. works well. Fine, just fine. Mental process number two. So what's next? Oh yeah. Yeah, you should go inside the shape there. Mm, let's add some white color too. Um, okay, simple color. Let's create a rectangle, scene rectangle. Oh, don't want you brain on the selection. Let's go here and continue to create these shapes. Yeah, that's all the rectangles. So I want you to come in a folder and I name you rectangle, rectangles. mental process um, uh, 
let's use a stroke there a thin one place it in the center and we are okay continue to create shapes ellipse to let's create an ellipse there okay select the ellipse create a mask layer I want to rasterize the layer, go on the layer mask, command, uh, command P, just P on the keyboard, the keyboard. And I want to mask this area of the brain, but for that I should hide this one there. If not, I won't notice where it should stop. Okay. <laughs> ah. Fear transparency, of course. Hmm. I didn't cut it in the right place there. Let's see how it looks like. No, here you are. Come on, there. Oh, no. A mosquito just bite my uh, head. Oh, no. Ah, where I am in China now, the mosquitoes are relatively huge and they make noise. How did I do for don't hear him? Ah, bad luck. Oh, I am the only one person in the room. So the only one he can bite, he can bite. It's me, huh? So I get rid of that part of the shape. Come on there. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What, what's that? What did I do there? B. And what's wrong there? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I'm not on the mask layer so for sure it won't work well huh? come on here we are it's fine i let appear that pixel the pixel stuff there or oh, i should replace it a little bit inside huh? yeah like that you looks okay Let's add some circle here and here, just there to hide a little bit, here to be fun. Just a few, just a few. up the thing they are too huge ah no the mosquito it's 
starting the mosquito bites starting to hurt ah don't touch it let's get inside the brain select the brain copy paste place it over there here go under create a new layer select the part of the brain i just got select a bigger size of the brush tool paint inside the shape there the selection up down filter blur gaussian blur okay 191 maybe not see how it looks like filter gaussian blur progress wait please okay we almost see nothing yeah it make a huge uh, shadow huh? maybe it's too much no for sure it's too much blur gaussian blur again and go down go up 97 okay looks fine looks fine Oh, I catch the mosquito. I just have three legs in my hands. In my hand. Where is now? Where is, oh, sorry, I have to wash it. So here I come to hide the shape. I want to hide. like this I use the paint uh, the brush tool to to paint inside the shape and I continue the process there okay I zoom inside to be sure to hit the part I want to hit. See here, it's really not so clear. I think I am on now. Yeah. And I want hit it to appear there. And here, it's it's really too straight angle there. Oh, I replaced the anchor point to change the pa the path of of the path. Selection either radius zero point five. It's fine. Okay. B on the keyboard. I come on the mask. Oh, mask layer enter where the selection and I paint inside done now I do the same here 
select the pen tool and trace a path inside and I repeat this process again and over again until the satisfaction yeah it's really not uh, that difficult here we are up selection feeder radius still the same okay brush tool use a larger size make it more faster done Now I can put the opacity on the fill at 100 and take a look at what I am doing clearly and it looks fine. I create another layer above to create the shadows. Oh, it's too much. Take a soft round brush. And I come around 120, looks fine. Okay, so I will pan the shadow. They are supposed to leave the, yeah, the shadow there inside the brain, fly over the, the rectangle generated by the, by the shape of the brain there. Uh, if you notice uh, now I am uh, also painting over the the brain and it's not what I want of course so I uh, maintain push the command alt I come between the two layers and um, doing that uh, only let appear the shape I paint before above the the rectangle there, like that, it does not touch the brain. Command O to see the wall poster. And I continue to trace geometric shapes. 